Today, we're delving into the pages of the past, specifically the pivotal battle of the Plains of Abraham in 1759, a key moment in the Seven Years' War between Britain and France in North America. In the mid-18th century, both nations had firmly established colonies in the New World. The British settled along the East Coast, while the French claimed territory in the St. Lawrence Valley. Conflicts arose as both powers extended their claims beyond established boundaries. Tensions flared in the Ohio Valley, where British colonists clashed with French soldiers, each side insisting the other was encroaching on their territory. In 1754, a young George Washington led a British and native militia expedition, attacking and killing French soldiers, despite the nations technically being at peace. The situation escalated, leading to the disastrous 1755 attempt by Major General Braddock to seize Fort Duquesne in the Ohio Valley. The British suffered heavy losses, prompting an escalation of hostilities, and war was officially declared in 1756. Fast forward to 1758, where the British, determined to challenge the French, aimed to capture key areas in New France. Victories at Louisbourg and Carillon set the stage for the decisive Battle of Quebec in 1759. General James Wolfe, leading a formidable fleet down the treacherous St. Lawrence River, caught the French off guard. The Marquis de Montcalm, commanding the French forces, prepared to defend Quebec, but a failed attempt with fire ships opened the door for a relentless British bombardment. Strategically positioning forces at Point Levi, Wolfe brought Quebec within range of British artillery. A daring move saw British ships sail upriver, forcing the French to defend previously untouched shores. The Battle of Montmorency Falls in July 1759 ended in a British retreat, but Wolfe persisted. Undeterred, Wolfe sought new landing spots, culminating in a daring night assault at Anse au Foulon in September. Overcoming French resistance, the British secured the Plains of Abraham, setting the stage for a decisive confrontation. On September 13th, 1,700 British soldiers landed, and the battle commenced. Wolfe's disciplined forces faced off against Montcalm's army. The British, employing a strategic delay in firing, unleashed a devastating volley at close range, breaking the French formation. In just 15 minutes, the Battle of the Plains of Abraham was decided. Despite casualties, including the fallen Wolfe and the wounded Montcalm, the British emerged victorious. This triumph left Quebec surrounded, leading to its surrender on September 17, 1759. The Battle of the Plains of Abraham was a turning point in North American history, setting the stage for the eventual British conquest of Canada, solidified in the Treaty of Paris in 1763. Thank you for watching.